Yo, this is part two of what it was like attending Prairie View or HBCU, but mostly Prairie View. Freshman year was crazy in a good way. You know what I'm saying? So I came in as a mechanical engineer. I didn't know what else to choose, <laughs> if we being real. like High school doesn't necessarily prepare you, especially depending on the high school you go to doesn't necessarily prepare you to know what you want to do for the rest of your life. Like, I'll go to athletic programs. I will go to uh, STEM programs. So that's like the math, science, all that shit. All at Prairie View growing up. I was mad comfortable with PV itself. But there was a huge difference between a middle school or high school student at Prairie View and then being a college student at Prairie View. It was just a whole different thing. And then it was just a whole different set of people as well. So I hung out with my boy L and uh, that nigga, I was shocked because it was the second day of school. We're in Dr. Jones class. Now Dr. Jones is like, a Huey Newton type dude. Like, he's one of those dudes that, you know what I'm saying? Like, he would. He had a lot of controversial thoughts on black history. But at the same time, he was always able to, like, back up his thoughts with uh, either logic, but also evidence. So, that's what I fuck with. But he was doing a role one day. Second day of class, it was like a hundred people in that bed. I'm like, damn. So I sat in the back. I didn't know where to sit. So he calling roll and he called Ev. I'm like, did he just say Ev? I'm next in line. So he calls my name. And I see Ev look back. We haven't seen each other damn near since like fifth grade. And he was like my best friend back then. So it was just crazy that of all the places we meet back at Prairie View, you know, type shit. Like, I didn't know that he was going to attend that bit. And I didn't know he was going to be in the same class as me. So, I go up there, you know what I'm saying, and we just chop it up for the rest of the day. And that's when I knew freshman year was going to be the shit. When I say me and L saw so many bad females at Prairie View, dude, like, it's actually ridiculous. How many beautiful women go there? You feel me? Now, I'm not going to say if you drive to Prairie View right now, you get out your car, everybody going to be dogs. I'm not saying that. That's unrealistic. But I will say they got, they definitely got some baddies, some gems in there. And we had nicknames for damn near all of them that we thought was like, you know, really, really attractive. And that's the other thing that kind of me and Ev related on was that we weren't necessarily the niggas that like, um, like we had high standards. You feel me? So a girl that most niggas will call a nine, we'll probably call like a six or a seven. And that's not really being like, you know what I'm saying? Like cocky or disrespectful. It's just more like we try to look at a bigger picture, not just only the looks, but like how she acted, you know, shit like that. So, yeah, that was a big part of freshman year was like, you know, what I'm saying just just seeing the goddamn plethora of females there. Another one was like hanging out in the MSC during lunch because there was always some shit like to talk about. Um to laugh about you feel me there was there was a fight i remember a nigga got knocked out right in the middle of the msc in the cafeteria big six five ass nigga he probably six six that nigga rocked this other dude i'm like god damn like calm down nigga like shit but You know what I'm saying? That made for good memories. <laughs> I know people want to know about the parties at PV. Now, I'm not going to lie. Like, 
the parties are on and off. I always call it the parties that like. How do I explain it? I didn't try to go to every party because a lot of times, you know, they'll play the same music. You know what I'm saying? The DJ will cut the right song off and then let the wrong song go on too long. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So we were very selective about the parties that we went to and was worth it. I remember freshman year, the best party that I went to was called the Tent Party. And it was rare because... It was hyped as hell. You know, it was, you know, we were lit. But it was actually on campus. Now, contrary to popular belief, most Prairie View parties are not on campus. Like, 90% of them are off campus. So, if you you hear a shooting and people talking about there was a shooting on Prairie View, they probably lying, if we being honest. But, yeah, the tent party freshman year was incredible, dude, because, like, it was just, like, the right vibe. Like, the DJ was on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, The women was definitely, you know what I'm saying, out in full force. Niggas was not tripping. They was not, you know, fighting, stepping on each other's shoes or whatever. It was just a good time. Um, Another element, I think I mentioned last time, of my freshman year, we didn't have the new gym. So, new gym got everything, not everything, but they got damn near a lot of the things you can ask for. They got a lot of the the weights and the shit that we did not have back when I came. Like, the best we had was, like, I think, like, a treadmill and, like, 45-pound dumbbells. You know, shit, just little shit. So that's one thing that I really give credit to Prairie View for is that they're investing in like actual like they're investing the money that they're getting and actually putting into the facilities and different things that we needed over these years. You know, because there's a lot of colleges that, you know, they get the they get all these funds and none of it goes to the student body. None of it goes to getting new material what was the best memory of freshman year I think the best memory of freshman year was just like being able to hang out with different, you know, friend groups and then not feel fake. That was super rare. Like, I had at least four or five different friend groups. So, since I was in engineering, I had my engineering friends. Uh, I had, you know, my regular friends, like the friends that I went everywhere with. Or that I could go everywhere with. So that's Evan. Well, freshman year is Evan. And then later on, Tyreek and a whole bunch of others came. Uh, as well as Double uh, A. It's just the little things also that's the best things too. It's just like really... Um, Really appreciating, like, the little memories that you have. Uh, passing a course that you had a D at midterm at. Or, um, or a kickback, a random kickback that you weren't expecting to go to. But you meet cool people and, and like, uh, this girl is really feeling you. It's just, like... Things that are in the moment that can't necessarily be explained are the best things about, you know, a prayer view in my freshman year. So I'm going to leave it at that.